Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This week's video, very, very excited for. I really wanted to make an aesthetic phone chain. I've seen these all over Pinterest and I just thought this would be a fun, chill video for this Sunday. Hopefully being able to show you how to do it and how not to do it. When I tell you it's hot today, there's no exaggeration. Today, the first thing I thought I'd start with is making these beads because they look so cool and I have a whole box of hammer beads from when I was little. I've got some pink and green beads here um, and I want to turn them into a phone chain with the hammer bead beads, which we will make. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to find all the colors I want from in here and I'm just gonna put them in this tray. So I've got my little tray of beads and these are actually really cute colours and they're going to go with the beads here really nicely. So the next thing that you have to do is get your baking sheet and then just place the beads on there. I don't know if this will be enough beads but I'm going to try it anyway. I guess let's just see how this goes. I just realised I've got to carry this down the stairs without knocking any of the beads over. They took the whole tray of beads off of me. I've arranged them all on this tray. I'm not going to lift it up because I'm terrified I want to knock them all over after spending ages trying to arrange them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them downstairs and I'm going to put them in the oven for, I think it said two to three minutes at 200 degrees. So I'm going to go do that and I will return. I'll be right back. I return from a far off land. <laughs> I'm very pleased to report that they were an absolute success. If I'm honest with you, TikTok trends are a bit skeptical of usually, but look how pretty they turned out. They're actually insane. I want, I'm want. i gonna end up melting all of these. I just know it. Look at them. Oh, but look at those colors together. So satisfying. So I've got this bit of nylon thread. However, last time I used nylon thread, it always snapped. So I'm considering just using sewing thread. I always start it with a big bead so that the smaller beads can't fall off through it. Tie a knot around the big bead. I don't know if you can see this. Triple, double, quadruple knot it. If you leave a big gap on the end, that means you can tie it up at the end as well. Oh, my hair burns like halfway up my arm. Now I think I'm just gonna randomly place them on. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. Maybe we'll to February, I lost control when you I think this is long enough for a phone chain, especially as I've got this thing to add to the end. Um, I don't actually know what this is. I'm gonna use it anyway. So to finish it off is you need to make sure all the beads are pushed right to the end because if you don't, there'll be a gap in it somewhere. And you wanna thread this bit of thread that you had before and put it through your last bead and then tie it in a knot around that bead and then I'm just going to tie it in any way possible to get it to stay there so I'm just going to tie it around the other bit of thread tie it around the other bit of thread again and again and grab your scissors and there we have it this little phone chain thing Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, put the bell notification on to get notified every time I upload, and I'll see you in next video. There are a lot of things on Pinterest I still want to make, so if you'd like that, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will supply you with that. I love you all, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!